Okay, everyone. So the very first thing I do when I am decorating a cake is a crumb coat. And that is just a thin layer of frosting over the whole cake just to um, seal in all the crumbs. So let me show you what that looks like. So usually you can do cakes on a cake board, then transfer them to a cake plate, but I'm gonna build this one directly on my cake plate. So I put a thin layer of frosting to kind of act like some glue to keep the cake from sliding around and moving around. So, perfect. And now I'm gonna just, I'm using the same frosting to fill the cake as I do to crumb coat and coat the whole sides. So just put a generous amount of frosting and just Smooth it all out, get a good filling. This is only gonna be a two-layered cake because it's just for a fun little event. But if you're doing a cake for like a big party or wedding or anything like that, I would say cut the layers in half because these are pretty thick layers and do four layers high. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be kind of even. Okay, so the next layer, so to get a nice clean edge on your finished cake, I always like to have my top layer be the bottom of the cake because you always have the nice clean edges from the bottom of the cake pan. So you just set that on top, make sure it's in the middle. And then, since I didn't cut the tops of the cakes off, there is a little raised area. So I just go ahead and fill all that in with some cake or frosting. And you just keep going around. And then for the top, I just glob some on there. Go around the edges just to make sure it's all kind of sealed in there. And just kind of work your way around and just kind of pull into the center just to give you that nice clean edge. And that is a quick crumb coat. So now I'm gonna go put this in the fridge for a little bit. Okay, hi guys. So I have my three colors. This is what we're gonna use to make our flowers. Um, to make the flowers, you're going to use a nail, it's a decorating nail. And then I made these little squares of parchment because once I'm going to make the flower on it, put it on my tray. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to show you how to make a rose. So I hold my bags, I pinch it at the top and hold it this way. And this is a rose tip. If you can see it, it's tip number 104. The fat end to be facing down. So I'm gonna just put a little tiny daub of frosting there to hold my paper. So first off, you're just gonna make just a little mound of frosting. Try to get closer. And then you're just gonna go around and make like a little mushroom. And then you're just gonna start and just do little up and down motions. Squeeze and release. And 
and then just gradually make them bigger as you go. And then once you get towards the edge, kind of tilt your tip out to kind of flare out. And then there you go, a little flower. And then I'll just slide it off onto my tray. Now, what else you can do, another type of flower, three, three, if you can see it there, it's like a U-shaped. And this one, you're going to squeeze and pull out to make little petals. You make one row of petals and then you come in between those rows and make another row and you just keep going until you filled it all the way in. And then you just have a little flower. I forget the name of what kind of flower that could be. Now another kind of flower you can make with this same little flower. So you're gonna go up and round. like that. Just make a little petal. Do it again. And there you go. You got a little flower. Okay, so we have our tray of flowers. I'm gonna go put these in the freezer so they can harden up. And then I will show you how to coat the cake with the buttercream frosting and then how to decorate them with all these beautiful flowers. Okay guys, so to put the coating on your cake, your buttercream frosting, I like to start with the sides. And pretty much just like the crumb coat, you just kinda thickly put it on, a thick coating. So once I have a thick coating on the top, I'll just take my spatula, just glob a whole bunch on the top. And smooth it out. And I do like to let it fall over the edges. to use this it's um like a bench scraper but it's made out of plastic and I'll take it and I'll just run around the edge and then smooth the top and that's how I get a nice smooth finish on my cake
scrape off the excess. And this is a little bit more difficult because the scalloped edging on the on the cake plate. But I like to spin the cake plate and then keep my my um, scraper still and just spin the plate as I go. And now to get a nice clean corner. So find the edge and just come straight in the middle. From the edge to the middle and after every time, wipe off your, so you have a clean And then you have a nice clean edge cake. But you can just keep playing with it until it looks good. Until it get to how you like it. And then really if you don't like it, you could always go in with your uh, little cake spatula and texturize it. What, you just can go like this and kind of be through and even make it like a textured and just pat it or just make little swoopy marks like it's stucco and then that way it doesn't have to be perfect and actually I kind of am liking this because we are putting flowers on it, so it kind of gives it more of an organic-y feel. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. It's actually really cute. There we have our frosted cake. Now let me go get the flowers. Okay, so I like to work in like a, a C method. Might be backwards for you guys. So I'll take half the cake and now I, I put a size three tip. So it's just a plain straight line tip and I kinda make a fancy C. Like that. And then I'll come out, make a smaller C. Looks like that. And it kind of gives me a guide to where to put the flowers. So if I'm gonna, I like to put just a little blob and see how these flowers are nice and frozen. I can touch them. They're not coming off, they come off the parchment paper easily. And you just put them down. Super easy. Even if I want to put a... Purple flower right there. And you don't have to go by the colors. Just put a little bit of frosting to kind of make the flower stick. There. And then you just keep kind of filling in with other little flowers all over.
whatever looks good you do and you can also if you want you make little spiral flowers like that and you can make them going down the back side of the cake too it's like little little dots going all around or if you want to make little rosebuds you just take that same flower tip the 104 and you just kind of do a little swoosh and then when we come back to make the leaves we'll do little leaves over the top and you can um, you know really put them wherever do whatever you want with them you can make other other little buds different colors so make a little a little bud right here So then, after you got all your flowers placed, you're gonna go back in with a leaf tip, which is tip number, this one's 352, but it looks like this. It's divided. <laughs> and anywhere you have a little space, you're gonna put a little leaf. So the leaf you hold one of the points up and you squirt it out and let go and you make a little leaf so like over the top of the little rosebuds you're gonna make two little yeah, leaves yeah, coming up we were, we were, you make we a little were. leaf coming out of that little flower And like right here, you can see there's a little open space. So I'll probably put a couple leaves in there, go in different directions. And, and then going down the sides and coming out, coming out from underneath the flowers. You, And then just go back and look at it. And if there's any spots where you feel you could use another leaf, just add it. And there you have a cake. And in the open space, you can put happy birthday, put someone's name. And I hope you enjoyed this little decorating and flower tutorial. I hope it was uh, learned something and um, thank you for watching.